All right, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be making this GTI look 10 times better by putting uh, spacers in the front and rear. And then we also are gonna match it with some longer studs. And that's what you gotta do when you do uh, spacers. You need longer studs, so we're gonna get into that right now. All right, to start things off, we're gonna be running EMD Autos, 15 mil front spacers. We're also gonna be running the, the same spacers in the rear, but these are 20 mils. Big shout out to these guys. I actually got these from my friend. He has a GTI too. He's letting us use them just to see how they look on the car and so I could provide a video for you guys. So the next thing before you put on the spacers, you're gonna you're gonna need uh, longer studs. Um, these are 45 mil studs for the fronts and 47s in the rear. And these are made by APR. Their website's right here. I'll put all the parts and links into the description down below. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like up front. They're a little, they're like way in there. I can fit my hand in there. So hopefully the spacers fix that. So that's the front. And then here's the rear. The rear are a lot more poked in just because there's a lot more camber in the rear. Because it's set up for the track. Ledger. So we just got the wheel off and now I got to take the, the rears off because my dad likes to do a lot of burnouts and wear out his tires and then complain about it. Right. We just got the rears off and then we used a 17 mil socket. That's what you're gonna need. Uh, it does with the APRs too, but that's what we used to take the wheel off. Now we're gonna take the rear tire, put it on the front. The difference in the spacer size, uh, the bolt size too. I did. 45 for the front, 47 for the rear. Yeah. Okay, we just put that on. Now we should be able to mount the wheel. So just got the rear tire and wheel swapped to the front uh, definitely a two-person job to get the wheel on there just because there's no studs on these German automobiles so I had my dad help me and now we're gonna knock out the the rear and then I'll time-lapse it and do the other side too I'm just gonna torque these real quick so I don't forget. Um, we're gonna do it to 90 foot pounds. So everything's back together. This is what it looks like. We still have to drive it around <clears throat> just so it could settle in. But it looks way more aggressive and way better. Like 10 times better than stock. So here's what the, the space side looks like and then non-space side. Hey dad, where's the stock studs at? I put them up oh. on the counter. Well, so this is the stock stud, this little chubby thingy. And then here's the aftermarket fronts. So a lot longer. 
see them side by side. Um, car's pretty dirty because it's been raining non-stop here. It's kind of annoying, but the car is all ceramic coated and protected, so it's easy to wash. But yeah, we got front and rears done. Gonna do go ahead and do the same thing that we did over there. Swap the rear to the front and then front to the back, just because. Look how much this thing at all. And then this is the, the rear. Way more tread. back down. Car's got to settle in a little bit with some driving, but definitely looks a lot better. Nice and flush finish. gets me in this GTI is probably the interior. The interior in this car is like phenomenal. I just love how Volkswagen buttoned everything up with kind of the silver trim accents with the black. Oh, it looks amazing. And we also did some shifters in this, or the paddles. They're just a little replacement from the plastic ones. That really made the whole steering and assembly look really nice. But other than that, this thing is sweet. The thing that is super cool about these is just the dual clutch transmission. And basically, you get the Type R, which is the same as the GTI, just all wheel drive and a bigger turbo. And you can literally bolt that straight up to this thing. And this thing can make all the sauce in the world. You can't do that with the ST. You have to literally upgrade everything else around it just for it to handle a little more boost. So, just got back home from the little drive. Gonna see what it looks like. Looks way better. Nice and flush, right with the fender. Same with the other side. The next thing we gotta do is some lowering springs or some suspension upgrades, because this thing is like a monster truck like the ST. Super huge wheel gaps and stuff. Dad, give it some, some revs. Keep some juice. 